What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another episode of this gun rocks and this time we're taking a look at the lucky seven the lucky seven drops from scrap trap prime and the compactor map and the handsome jackpot dlc that's dlc number one in case you guys are keeping score at home it can also world drop within that dlc notably dropping from most named enemies randomly in that dlc including the final boss there is no mayhem requirement however to get this gun the drop rate for this gun is an absolutely insane 50 percent from scrap trap prime making this one of the easiest legendary items in the game to farm for you can also reset scrap trap prime after each kill by heading back through this cargo container on the side of the map and getting right up against this edge to reset the area then you run back in kill the little scrap traps and fight scrap trap prime again this makes farming for a perfect one or one with desirable annoyments very easy this jacob's pistol special ability is that reloading it will cause a slot machine type effect that will reroll up to five bonus perks for this gun the perks will always appear in this order head which is crit damage on every bullet basically like flax megavore but for all vault hunters rapid fire this changes the weapon from semi-auto to full auto element bullets will either deal incendiary shock or corrosive damage explosion bullets will explode on impact and deal splash damage and lastly lucky seven you will fire seven bullets in the shape of a seven at the cost of just one ammo per shot the most powerful combo of all these things outside of getting them all at once is head and lucky seven i generally would avoid the full auto roll since it will eat up your mag and force you to re-roll faster losing your perks until you re-roll them again however it can still be crazy good the best general anointments to get on this would be the action skill active or action skill end 100 weapon damage anointments terror ammo regen anointments are crazy good on this gun for flak the fadeaway active 150 weapon damage is great for amara the phase slam 300 phase cast 250 or the phase grasp 150 weapon damage anoints all work really well and i would honestly recommend going phase grass with Amara and we'll talk more on that here in just a moment. For Zane, I would say stick to the general anointments or go with the Sentinel Cryo anointment. Moe's might be best off with the consecutive hits anointment or just stick with the action skill active weapon damage using Iron Cub. The Lucky 7 has received just a single buff since launch on December 17th, 2020. Gearbox buffed the chance for this gun to receive its bonus effects by an undisclosed amount. This gun was already amazing before that, but now you didn't have to worry so much about reloading. That said, you still want to avoid reloading as much as possible but once you lock in that perk set that you want because of that this gun is obviously really well suited for both Moe's and Flak, who both have ammo mitigation skills but surprisingly Amara using phase grasp can also benefit greatly from this gun by specking a single point into the dread skill which reloads your gun fully upon killing a phase grasp enemy the lucky seven absolutely rocks it's been a great gun from the start of dlc one but it's only gotten better over time hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did then make sure you hit that like button tap subscribe hit that bell icon to be notified when i post another episode let me know in the comment section below what gun you'd like to see next on this series thank you guys for watching take care